Hi everyone, um, welcome to Monday at the schoolhouse on Tuesday. Sorry I didn't do it yesterday, but I forgot that it was a holiday, so I thought I'd wait till today. So we're gonna make flags, and uh, or I'm gonna show you how to make flags. Um, there's all different sizes you can do. There's a lot of patterns if you wanna search flags. I'm sure that some would come up with measurements. Um, I was looking around at the flags at uh, my house, and um, I know that they start with the red, it stops with the red right here at the blue. There's 13 strips, but um, I don't usually do 13 unless I'm gonna make a huge flag. So uh, I try to proportion it out, like what is, you know, how I wanna do it in my head and start cutting my strips. You can cut your strips any size you want. I've done these strips one and a half, um, one and a quarter inches. And um, to determine how I do this part, I go ahead and sew all these together. So if I wanted to sew more than this amount, I'll go ahead and do it and then worry about cutting this because this is gonna determine how big this comes out. I already um, sewed this together. Uh, unfortunately, this is the second time we taped this because the first time it didn't tape. So I already sewed it. Well, I have to say why I'm not sewing. So I'm gonna show you this. I sewed these strips together. These are one inch strips because I was gonna make a smaller flag. So I did one, two, three, four, five, again, starting with the red and ending with the red. Then I am gonna cut my little blue part determined by this size. So the size on this one is, if I ironed it or pressed it, about three and an eighth inches. Could be three and a quarter if I pressed it. But I'm gonna put it on here and let's just say that that's exactly three and a half in, uh, three and an eighth inches on there. Okay, that's how I'm determining this piece. Now, the width of this piece is just however I want it to look. If I wanted it to be a square, I would square it up and do it three and an eighth. But I wanted it to be a little bit longer, so that's what I cut it. There's no, no right or wrong size if you're gonna make these. It's just the look that you like. If you want it more square, do it square. Um, I wouldn't go probably much longer than this. And when I looked at these flags here, I kind of noticed that um, this is the same, and I'm sure there's a reason why, but there's a, a this and this are about the same size. So if this one is gonna be three and an eighth, I could cut this three and an eighth back over here. I could cut this three and an eighth. Okay, does that make sense? No. All right, well, I'm gonna cut, oh, I don't have my rotary cutter. Okay, I don't have my rotary cutter around here. So, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut and then I'll straighten it up later. But, so how do you think about, oh, that was very, ha, ha, ha. good. Let me grab my rotary cutter, hold on. <laughs> Clearly that is not straight. <laughs> no, I'm not drinking. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up and cut it off here. I'm not even measuring to see what it is. I just kind of like that length. Okay, so then since you're upside down there, that would be my blue side and my red stripe size. So I can tell this is a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna trim it to the three and an eighth too while I'm here. Okay. So three and an eighth, because that's that's what it looked like it was. Okay. All right. So I'll sew that on, and I'm gonna stretch it to make it fit if it doesn't. Oh no, yeah, mm, probably could've went with three. Let's go with three. If I was pressing, it would be more accurate, but I'm not. Okay, so we want it on this side, Oops, this side. Uh -huh. Okay. So here's my top part of my flag, okay? Oh, gone. There's my top part. And now the bottom part, I'm gonna start with the white because we stopped, oh, look at all this mess, because we stopped with the um, red. And this little fabric here is um, 
from um, me and my sisters. It's brand new. It's their Christmas line. Uh, ready, set, ready, set, dash. Um, red dot green dash. And I have that in my shop and there's green. And, but the reds are really good in this, this line of fabric. So um, if you want some, this is also from the same line of fabric, the red dot. That's kind of why I ordered all these because I love the reds in it. So then you're gonna do um, white. We're gonna go red, white again. And I'm not measuring this over here, I'm just leaving it because I'll trim it at the end. And then red, okay? And then you could go two more down if you wanted to go white and red again, but I think I'm gonna stop right there and that would be the size of my flag, okay? So let's sew these together. Okay, so we have our white, which we started with, and then our red. So we're gonna add, is that right? Red again. Do you need to sit down? Okay, I'm just stop there. And then red. That's going to be the bottom of our flag as we end it in red and we start it in red and if you don't remember that just look at a flag that's what I did I just went and got my flag out which I have them all over my house because I decorate with them year round I don't put them away okay so this is, oh, we might want to add some more because this is kind of small now. Uh-oh, one more. We need white. Sorry, cameraman. It's supposed to end in red. I know, that's why I got to do one more. Now he's a quilter. <laughs> okay. down over there keep it down okay all right so I haven't I did impress this oh I must have had a different size piece there anywho Duh. you get the idea <laughs> if the camera would have taped the first time it would have been perfect mm. anyway you get the idea okay so I would sew this to the blue and then I would trim it and there's another little flag and I think I'm well I think I might no I won't I'll just make a different flag out of that but Anyway, oh yeah, I think it is right, actually. Look, it is right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and sew that on there, because it is right. <laughs> Alrighty. So you remember you could do these any size, okay? Small, large, um, you could use them for a pillow, a tote bag, you could frame them. Um, they're so fast. I like to make them and you can put them outside on your porch. Nobody steals them off your porch, but okay. And then what we would do is we would put our uh, rotary cutter even here, which, you know, mm, that was a better one. And pretend I've cut that and I've ironed that. And there we have another flag. Wasn't that cute? Perfect. Okay. And here's the one I did prior that the camera didn't tape but I did different. I did um, one and a quarter inch strips. These were one inch strips. 
And then this one here, um, my piece came out to be uh, one, two, three, four and a quarter by one, two, three, four, five inches. Four and three quarter, four and a quarter by five inches. But it, yours can be any size. You could have stopped and made it square, or you could have made this a little longer. But remember, I sewed these first, then attached this, and then this determined also how long those were. And I'm still going to cut that off. So without having a pattern or measurements, that's how you can make a flag. This is the big one that I made, um, that I had on my post, that uh, a lot of you liked. And on that one, my measurements were nine by seven and three quarters on the blue, okay? And then my strips were two inches on this one. And the top ended up being two by 15 and three quarters. And then the longer piece down here was two inches by 24 and a quarter. So this is a 24 and a quarter inch um, flag by, let me just look real quick, by 16 and three quarters. So that's the size of that one. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, you can ask me, you can message me. I have bundles in my shop and reds and blues always have reds. Um, if you don't see anything you like, let me know and I can make a bundle for you. I've been doing that lately too for some of you. So these fabrics, like I said, the reds um, on this one are from the um, me and my sister's design. I have those in my shop. This is an old fabric. This was a Pam Kitty blue. This one is a Lori Holt Calico Days Blue, and I still have some of this in my shop. Um, this one is an old, um, oh, what's her name? I can't think of her name. Anyway. No, what's her name? <laughs> I can't think of her name. How embarrassing. Anyway, that's an old fabric. Um, I am going to make some little bundles and put this in, some a fat quarters of this in with the red and blue, because I have enough that I can make some bundles on that. So I'll be looking for those in my shop. And that's about it. Um, every other week. Oh, yeah. It's going to be every other week now. <laughs> Hi. Every other week instead of weekly because I seem to can't get on, you know, scheduled to do this weekly. So every other Monday I'll do it. And um, I'm thinking up the next one already. But if you have ideas, let me know, too, what you might like to see me do. And um, that's it. Thank you. Bye.